let's look at how to read input from a string. So first of all, I'm going to include a new library. So I'm going to include the SStream library. And next, I'm going to create a function declaration. So I'm going to process a line of data, and I'm going to be taking a string called line and just processing that and returning an integer value. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down here at the bottom and make my definition there. And so what I want to do is just run a process and print out the results. So I do process line and I'm going to pass it a string and return the results. results. So what I want for my string is I'm going to send a single character for an operator. So either a plus or a multiply and then a couple of digits. And then I'm going to have that return and print it out. Actually, let's print out a word here as well. So I'll do answer is this. There we go. So I got this one here. Let's make another one. And instead of this being plus, we're going to do multiply. So it should be much larger. And maybe we'll make uh, this couple of. There we go. So random number of digits. We just don't know. We're just going to read it until we get to the end. So now I'm down here. And I know I need to have a return value. So that'll be my answer. I'm going to be processing individual numbers one at a time, so that would be num. I also want an operator, so either a plus or a multiply, so either a star or a plus, and so I'll have that be an operator op, and that'll be character since it's a single character. First, I'm going to get my string that I received as line, and I'm going to convert it into a string stream. So I'll do a string stream. And <clears throat> the the name of the string doesn't really matter. It's kind of like C out or C in. And I'm going to call this one str in because I'm reading from that str. And I'm going to pass it my line. And so it's going to create this string in or str in line. At this point, I want to go ahead and grab the operator. So the str in, I'm going to read that into my character, which is op for operator. And then I want to decide how I'm going to initialize my answer. So my answer is either going to be a zero or a one for starting. So if it's a multiply, I want it to start with one because I don't want it to be multiplying times zero. And if it's adding, I want to do a zero. So if my operator equals single quote plus then I want to have answer equal to zero but if my operator is times or star then I want my answer to be initialized to be one and then at some point I'm going to return my answer All right, now I need to figure out how do I process the rest of the numbers on the line. So I'll do a do while loop. So I'll do do. And I'm going to get my string restrian sent to my num. And then I want to figure out, did I actually get a valid value or not? So if my valid value, so if my operator equals plus and And my string didn't fail, so str in fail. So if it's not a fail, that means that it was able to successfully read an integer. And so what I want to do? Well, I want to add that integer to my answer. So my answer plus equals my num that I just read in. And if my operator equals my times symbol and 
the uh, uh, let's see then we don't have a failure on the string in then that means we were successful in reading an integer and I want to multiply my answer so times equals venom and then I can just display it so at this point I should be basically done I just have to figure out what my while statement here at the end is so I'm doing this as long as my str in didn't fail so as long as the fail is false then I can continue to read in all right so I read the line in the line goes it gets converted into a string stream I read my operator from the string stream then I go ahead and I start reading in numbers one at a time until I run out of numbers and I fail to read in the integer so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens so I run the code and I see 90 and 42,435 and 12 plus 33 plus 45 looks like that is 90 and this one looks like 42,000 sounds about right so you can see that these things are not too hard to read strings in you just take the string and you convert it to a string stream and then you can just use it the same way you'd use cn and there you go